the Wirral Peninsula between the rivers Dee and Mersey just prior to the Second World War. Apart from an industrial strip on the eastern side covering parts of Wallasey, Birkenhead and Bevington on the banks of the Mersey, Wirral was largely a series of rural villages situated in farming country. Here at Thurstiston on the Dee coast, we can see typical farming scenes of the 30s, showing ploughing and harvesting with what looks like machinery from another age. Everything is peaceful and no one could have imagined that war was just around the corner. The guard is a cheerful soul on the country railway linking Hooton with West Kirby. West Kirby Lake, where there are signs of military activity, but the RAF were not very successful with this training flight. Thankfully, the water was not very deep and the aircraft was later recovered. Over on the Mersey, the aircraft carrier Ark Royal, recently built by Camelairds, is at anchor. German propaganda frequently and falsely claimed its destruction long before it was actually sunk by enemy action. A sign of the times, gas masks are issued in Wallasey in preparation for possible gas attack. Gas was used a devastating effect in the First World War only just over 20 years previously and was supposed now to be a banned weapon, but no chances were to be taken. After being fitted for size, you were expected to carry it with you wherever you went and children had to carry them to school each day. Open spaces were used for the construction of air raid shelters or tank traps. The barrage balloon, designed to deter enemy aircraft from low-level flying, would become a familiar sight. Many children were evacuated by train to safer havens. Those too old for call-up or in protected occupations could become part of the Home Guard, or Dad's Army, as it was affectionately called. to defend the country take part in a training session. What a good target, 